Hi everyone. Welcome to Facebook Live. Welcome to Trefoil TV. My name is Mackenzie Lund and I am the lead community engagement specialist with Girl Scouts of Western New York. And I'm so glad that you joined us today. Um, we are coming from my dining area to talk about ways that we can give back to the environment now that it's spring and um, it's a new, an opportunity for new life and um, just for things to kind of start to grow. Beautiful weather, the sun is shining today in Buffalo. Um, it's really a great time of the year. So before I begin, I want to thank you for joining. If this is your first time joining us at Trefoil TV, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. I do wanna give a quick um, couple answers that you might have um, for questions you might have. Um, why Trefoil TV? Well, Trefoil is that iconic Girl Scout symbol, this one right here that I have so nicely drawn. And um, you might also be wondering why 312? That's a really strange time. 312 is our Girl Scout birthday. 312, March 12th. So we're all Girl Scouts um, here at Girl Scouts of Western New York. So um, this week we are talking all about being kind and giving back. And today I thought it would be a great opportunity for us to talk about giving back and being kind to the environment. And one way that we can do that is with saving our bees. Bees, why are bees important? Well, 70 out of 100 products that we consume depend exclusively on bees and pollination. Without pollination, plants can't reproduce or grow. Without plants, we lose fauna, our animals. And without fauna and flora, there's no humans. So there are about 20,000 known bee species around the world, 7,000 of which are native to the United States. But many of those are now on the endangered species list in the United States. Why? Because um, they're losing their habitats, their homes, the places where they thrive. Also, um, the use of pesticides has really contributed to the decline of bee populations. Those are two of the major reasons among many others um, that have contributed to the bee uh, decline population. I'm supporting bees today with my cute little bee pin. I don't know if you can see that very well. And of course my Girl Scout shirt. Always thinking Girl Scouts here at Girl Scouts of Western New York. But what can we do to help these little creatures? What can we do to help the bees, to help the plants, to help the animals, to help the humans? Well, one big way is by growing our own bee gardens. So um, we know that at Girl Scouts of Western New York, we help make the world a better place. It's in our Girl Scout law. So by helping our bees, we are in turn helping make the world a better place. So what does a bee garden look like? They are groups of plants, um, hopefully many varieties, the more variety in plants, the better which produce high counts um, and amounts of pollen and nectar for the bees. Bee gardens can contain flowers, herbs, and other bee attracting plants. So together, I thought it would be fun if we made our own bee garden. I'm so excited to start. Spring is the time where I like to start growing my plants. So um, I have this big bag of soil. I have two packets of um, seeds. I have some sage and some lavender and I like to grow my plants in terracotta pots. I love terracotta pots because they have the hole in the bottom for drainage and then you can also get the little disc, the dish for underneath to catch any excess water. So this might be a little messy. If you're doing this at home, today is a great day to do this outside. However, we are inside in my place right now. So we're gonna make do. And if we get a little messy, I have a vacuum. So I'm going to pour some soil in my pots and pack it down a little bit. Get a little more in there, okay. And then with my next one. So, um. If you don't have soil or you don't have seeds or you don't have pots, fear not, 
You can order this stuff online. Or if you're planning to go to a store like Walmart or somewhere that does sell all of this stuff, um, make it a part of your grocery trip or wherever you go um, to get your food supply for your, um, your time during this quarantine and the um, and these times that we're under. So when I went grocery shopping, I got all my stuff done in one go. All right, I've got my pots filled with soil. So I'm going to start with my sage. Sage has pretty big seeds, so I'm gonna cut that open. And what I like to do is poke holes in my soil so that my seeds can drop in there pretty easily. So, I'm just dropping a couple seeds into my holes, and they're not very deep holes. You don't really need too much to start out with, okay? And then I'm lightly going to cover them up with any outer soil, okay? So that one's done. And then I'll do my lavender. Lavender has pretty small seeds, but I'm going to use the same method and poking my holes and sprinkling out my lavender seeds. So sprinkling those in there and then covering those up again with a little bit more soil. And then I also made some little signs for my, um, my herb and my, um, my flower. I guess my herbs together. So I know which is which while they're growing. So um, when these little guys begin to grow within the next few weeks, I'll know that this one is sage and this one is lavender. Two other tools I find that are really great if you're growing plants indoors, which we should do to begin with, um, are a water bottle with this great attachment. And I'm gonna come a little quicker or closer. Um, so this little attachment was about $6 on Amazon, and it creates like a nice little spout to water my smaller plants. So it's got the spigot here and a little spout here. So I'm going to begin by giving my sage and my lavender a light little water, okay? And uh, my apartment doesn't get a whole lot of natural sunlight, so I also invested in this great pink light, it's a grow light. So I have it plugged in, and when I turn it on, ta-da, it is a pink light, um, and it glows in my extra bedroom with all of my indoor plants um, for when they need a little extra sunlight. So you can buy one of these on Amazon too. Um, if not, just put them by a, a nice sunny window so they can begin to grow. And you'll see um, some sprouts begin within the next um, couple of weeks after you plant them. So make sure they're getting enough water and they're getting enough light. So um, as soon as they, your bee garden begins to grow, begins to sprout, after the last frost of the year, which I understand in Western New York can be sometimes a little bit difficult to know when that will happen, um, but very soon, you know, hopefully April is the last of the cooler weather, um, and as of May, we'll have nice warm weather here. Um, bring those outside. I would advise that your bee garden is not by a door um, or an entrance to your house or your apartment. Um, it's not somewhere where there are cars. Um, because we don't want the humans to disturb the bees, and we certainly don't want the bees to disturb the humans. So I would suggest maybe a corner of your lawn or somewhere that's really far from, um, as far as you can, I guess, from human interaction. Sometimes window boxes are beautiful places for bee gardens, um, again, as, lo as long as they're not by a door. So I'm very excited to get these little guys growing and get them outside as soon as that last frost hits and as soon as they start sprouting um, so that I can help save the bees this spring. So if any of this um, kind of programming that you've seen on Trap Oil TV or that you've seen today has um, been, of, been of interest to you, um, we would love to hear what have you been up to? What have you been doing? Um, these are all activities that you can do with your family and you can do with your family indoors during these unprecedented times. 
Um, we advise you to also take a look at the rest of our Facebook feed where there's a lot of great news going around and great things Girl Scouts are doing and fun activities to do at home even if you're not a Girl Scout or a Girl Scout family. Um, you can also head over to our website at www.gswny.org for more information. If joining Girl Scouts is something that interests you, you can always give us a call or email us. You can call us at 888-837-6410 or send us an email at customercare at gswny.org. We'd love to have you and we'd love to help you. So again, my name is Mackenzie Lund. I'm the Lead Community Engagement Specialist with Girl Scouts of Western New York. I love the bees. I'm ready to save the bees. I'm so excited it's springtime to open my windows, to grow my plants, and um, to really give back and be kind to the environment. So um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Be well and tune in tomorrow at 312 for our Trefoil TV with Sam. Have a wonderful day, everyone.